the Coors Beer Wall. The Hampton in Bayer S. And now introducing the 1986-1987 championship Hampton and Bayer. Goalkeeper number double zero, Jamie Swatter. Goalkeeper number one, Bill Domowski. Defender number five, Walt Schlatter. Midfielder number seven, Don Tobin. Forward number nine, Art Kramer. Midfielder number ten, Magic Celeste. Forward number eleven, Steve Frick. Defender number 14, Tim Tima. Defender number 15, Tomo Condre. Forward number 18, Les Frelli. Forward number 19, Defender number 21, Oscar Pizano. Forward number 23, Rudy Nikodinsky. Forward number 29, Steve Flower. And the head coach of the Canton Invaders, Trevor Dawkins. for the Canton Invaders, Steve Morris. Would you please rise for the singing of the National Anthem tonight by John Hayes. Yes. We'll play in the midfield position for Fort Wayne. He is the uh, leading, second leading scorer on the team with 26 points. Danny O'Keefe leads with 28. The defenders are Alan Bodenstein and Mike Noonan. Bodenstein has played some midfield for this club this year, but they feel they're stronger with him in the back. And the acquisition of Fry gives them a chance to do that and move him back there. Chance Fry on the year, 11 goals, 5 assists for 16 points. The bulk of that with the Milwaukee Wave. Forced Fleps going to Milwaukee last week, and now Fry is a member of the Fort Wayne Flames. Killingsworth to Fry, they drop it back to Lugris at the Flames. Red line, we're underway. At the Civic Center, Lugris ahead, it's Noonan on the right, left side of the field. And they dump it down for Killingsworth, but it's inside. Ball loose out front, right through the front of the goal mouth. As nobody able to control along the left side, and Maurer will try to clear it out for the Invaders, and now he'll dump it back in the goal box for Billy Namofsky. Namofsky outlet midfield, left side to Kia, and Kia is pushed by Bodenstein, and that's the first foul on either team in the game. It goes against Fort Wayne just 24 seconds into the first period. No score at the Civic Center. Oscar Pisano through the midfield circle for the Invaders. They attack right to left across your radio dial in the first period. Condrich dumps it down, beats two guys in the corner, but Orff is there to clear it. His ball hit the referee, and it's Condrich looking for a centering pass. It's blocked by Killingsworth and cleared out by Bodenstein, and chasing it down at midfield is Oscar Pisano. Pisano will back it up to the Invader red line, working against Chance Fry there on the right side of the floor. And forward for Kia, the pass is behind him, and Bodenstein controls. Dumps it in the goal box. It's intercepted by Maurer. Maurer trying to get the feed. It's knocked away by Bodenstein to Lugris. Almost taken away by Tobin. Lugris clears. It's intercepted by Pisano. Off the boards for Donnie Tobin in the left side. Invaders in the attacking zone. It's Maurer right in front of the net. He winds. He fires. It's blocked by Bodenstein. Pisano keeps it in, but Bodenstein clears. 
On the run is Chance Fry up the right side of the field. Condridge back on D for the Invaders. Fry cuts inside. Tomo with position. And he's able to ride Fry off the ball long enough to allow Namoski to pounce on it in the goal box. Short outlet feed on the right side to Pisano. Ahead on the red line to Kia. We've played a little more than a minute and a half here at the Civic Center. And the primo line of Magic Celestin. Art Kramer, Rudy Pikasinski on the floor. And your defenders are Mike Paxos and Tim Tima. Tima the captain with the ball. Feet ahead to Pikasinski. Rudy had the ball knocked away. And a foul goes against Fort Wayne. The holding call will be whistled against Todd Barrett into the game for the Flames. Paul DiBernardo on D against Magic Celestin. Celestin well, crosses with Kramer. He wants Pikasinski. The ball hit him in the chest. Double team. He got free. He shoots. He scores! Excellent move with the ball by Rudy Pikasinski. His 39th goal of the year, and the Invaders draw first blood at the 157 mark. I believe the assist will go to Magic Celestin. And that would be Magic's ninth assist on the year. Celestin will be our guest at halftime tonight. And the Invaders lead one to nothing. Rudy did a good job splitting the two defenders and then he got himself turned facing the goal and he let fire a bullet and Orff didn't have a chance. Alioto with a shot at the other end. It's blocked by Kramer. Celestin and Alioto chasing the corner. Centering ball knocked away by Tima and Kramer dumps it in the goal box. It's controlled by Namofsky. He collided with O'Keefe but no foul on the play and the outlet on the left side at the invader red line comes to Celestin. The magic man through the midfield circle. Right side feed at the Fort Wayne red line to Mike Paxos to Kramer. Hardy in the corner, wall pass for Rudy, and he's ridden away by uh, O'Keefe. And coming up the floor with it, they try to get it to O'Keefe at the red line, and he heel passes it back to DiBernardo. The Indiana U product gets around Pikasinski. Wall pass blocked by Paxos, and Celestin will come out of there with it for the Invaders. Pikasinski on the break, got one man to beat, and he can't get around the defender. Pretty good defensive position by Noonan on the play. It's in the goal box for Otto Orr. 12 minutes to go in the first period. The Invaders lead 1-0 on the Rudy Pikasinski goal and the Magic Celestin assist at 157. Lead ball for Killingsworth. Working on Paxos. And Kenny spins, loses his balance, and Tim Tima sends the ball ahead for Kia. Kia midfield. Moves to the left side. Dumps it back in the Invader end. Lost control. Chance Fry tries to clear. It's intercepted by Celestin. But you've got contact, and Kia gets the first foul on the Invaders in the game. And now in the corner, it's Chance Fry on the right side. Celestin and Kia double team. Kia picked him clean. Clears it ahead to Steve Maurer. Maurer backs it up in the goal box for Billy Namofsky. And Namofsky still with the ball on the floor. And he'll keep it there while both teams change lines. Outlet right side to Tom Condrich. Condrich out across the Invader red line. Killingsworth waits in the midfield circle, but it's back to Pisano. And now on the right side, it comes to Don Tobin. Oscar Pisano left side in the invader zone ahead in the midfield area to Steve Maurer. Now Tobin ahead to Kia. Kia had some trouble getting away from Bodenstein. And this time you got a foul on Kia called for pushing on Chance Fry. And the team fouls are even at two apiece with 11.04 to go in the first period. The invaders have a one to nothing lead. Mike Noonan, Fort Wayne red line. Now at the Canton red line to Killingsworth. One touch back to Bodenstein at midfield. And Bodenstein will back it up in the Fort Wayne end. And Otto Orff there. Maurer with pressure. Orff with a lead ball. Pisano stepped in front of uh, Chance Fry, but he fouled him in the process. Oh, they called it on Fry. Fry got the push. That's the third foul on Fort Wayne. And the Invaders will start from the midfield area, left side of the floor. Condridge to put it in play for Canton. Tobin, Kia, Maurer, the forward line. Maurer playing in place of Leshkarelli on that line tonight. And uh, Condridge and Pisano, the defenders here. Oscar back edge of the midfield circle against Killingsworth. 10-39 in the period. Lead ball into the Fort Wayne zone. Left side is Tobin off the boards for Maurer. Maurer back to the net at the red line trying to work around a defender. Fry with a deflection, but Condridge gets it back. He winds. He fires. It's out of play. And that was touched by Otto Orff. And I'm not sure Otto had to do that. I think that would have been out anyway, but Orff got a hand on it. Consequently, it'll be a corner kick for the Invaders from the right side. O'Keefe, Ramsey, DiBernardo, Ali Odo, and Barrett in the game for Milwaukee. And the same line, Tobin, Maurer, Kia, Condridge, and Pisano for Canton. Toby, the trigger man from the right corner spot. 10.27 to play in the first quarter. Toby lofts it airborne for Condridge. He taps it to Kia. Kia wall pass for Maurer. Back to Kia, give and go feed, and it was taken away, and coming the other way is Barrett. 
Barrett, right side at midfield, lost the ball to Pisano, and Pisano clears it. It's too far for Maurer. Alioto heads it ahead. Maurer got a piece of that, and Barrett leaves it at midfield for DiBernardo. DiBernardo, long lead for uh, O'Keefe, and it's deflected away from him by Maurer, and Maurer with a good spin move. He has good size, and he used it well against O'Keefe there to keep control of the ball. Left side midfield, now across the red line comes Don Tobin. Beat DiBernardo, shot wide to the right, right side. And coming the other way is Bob Ramsey. Ramsey had trouble with Kia on defense, and he dishes the ball back, and coming out of there with it is Alioto, the Fort Wayne player coach. Right side at midfield, 9.37 in the quarter. The Invaders lead one to nothing. Back at the red line, this is Barrett. Ball deflected by Kramer, and Alioto has to clear back to Orff, who's outside the box. Pekosinski with pressure, and Orff dumps it ahead. And it just kept down inside the three line. O'Keefe feeds inside. And Barrett sends it ahead. Ramsey looks for the shot. It's blocked by Kramer. And Tobin clears off the boards. His speed was behind Pekosinski. Ramsey right side fires. Good save by Namaski. And Rudy able to shield O'Keefe away long enough for Billy to pounce on the loose ball. Outlet short on the right side to Rudy Pekosinski, the AISA's leading scorer. And he has the only goal of the game tonight. The Invaders lead 1-0. The primo line on the floor for Canton. Magic Celestin ahead. The ball knocked away by Bodenstein. DiBernardo with it. He gets around Tima and clears it up the left side of the floor. DiBernardo across the Invader red line. Once the shot fires. Good save by Namaski. And then Billy able to scramble back and pounce on the rebound. Outlet for Magic at midfield. He's got Kramer clearing ahead to the right. Magic, he beat him cleanly. And he shoots it. A good save by Orr. Ball knocked away. Rudy fires wide. The rebound scores! Rudy Pekosinski puts his own rebound in, and the Invaders lead 2 to nothing. Rudy's got 40 goals on the year. Time of this one, 6.31. Fort Wayne's defenders got caught looking around, and somebody missed the switch, I think, on the right side, and there was nobody on Rudy. Celestin gets his second assist. Here we go the other way. Came around the break outside. Bodenstein. Well, pass. No, it'll keep. And it's uh, held on to by Orr. So Celestin gets his second assist on that goal. And Fort Wayne with the ball at the Canton red line. Killingsworth ball knocked away by Tima. Taken by Pikasinski. Rudy dishes it back to Timmy Tima. And the Invaders captain ahead uh, left side at midfield for Kramer. Kramer looking around Bodenstein. Beat him clean. He winds. He fires wide. And the rebound comes out behind Steve Maurer. Maurer taps it off the boards around Killingsworth. Right point Tima. Down in the corner to Artie Kramer. Kramer back to the net. Trying to get inside Bodenstein. Now double teamed by Fry. And Fry controls around. And Maurer got a piece of that. And it's dumped back inside. Artie Kramer looking out front for Paxos. And we got a holding call against Fort Wayne. That's the fourth foul on the Flames. Tima to Paxos. He scores! Mike Paxos. Fourth goal of the year. Timmy Tima gets the assist. It's 3 0. For Tima, it's assist number seven on the season. And the time of the goal in the first period, 7 30, exactly the halfway mark. The Invaders lead 3 0. There's a timeout on the field. We'll come back in just a uh, has made some decent plays in front of the net, but on a couple of occasions has just been a victim of very little support in front, I believe. It'll be O'Keefe, Ramsey, DiBernardo, Barrett, and Alioto for Fort Wayne. Maurer, Tobin, Kia, Kondrich, and Pisano for the Invaders. 3 0 Canton. Di Bernardo with just three letters, D-B-O on the back of that shirt. Here is Barrett. Barrett across the red line, fires. It's blocked by Maurer and cleared ahead for Kondrich. Three on two if they hurry, but Kondrich had the ball knocked away from behind by Barrett, and Barrett comes the other way for Fort Wayne. Now has to back up at midfield, and Kia almost got a steal. Alioto able to clear, but Pisano waits in the invader end. Now right side at midfield for Kondrich, to the left to Don Tobin. Toby forward for Kia, touches it over to Maurer, and the ball's taken away, and Ramsey comes up the floor for Fort Wayne. Drops it back to DiBernardo. Ramsey and DiBernardo, both former members of the Louisville Thunder. Ramsey in the Canton zone. DiBernardo, middle of the floor, red line, winds, fires. That's out of play. 
And that'll be a goal kick for Canton with 6.50 to play in the first period and the Invaders leading 3 to nothing. Third quarter is our United Bank contest quarter tonight. We have two tomorrow night from Chicago. Airtime on 1480 WHBC tomorrow will be 625 from the UIC Pavilion in the Windy City. And we hope to have you listening from there. Namofsky taps it outside the box on the left side to Kondrich and Tomo back in the box for Billy. Namofsky still with the ball on the floor and now he'll come out of the box with it outside the arc. Straight ahead for Don Tobin just inside the red line. Ramsey back to defend him. And Toby backs it up in the goal box again for Namofsky. Now Bill out on the right side of the floor. Six and a half minutes in the quarter. And Bill will come out across the red line as the Flames drop back on deep. Ramsey comes over. Namofsky's all the way out to midfield. Lead for Kia. Ball knocked away from him, but Tobin controls at midfield on the left side. Ahead for Kia. Knocked away by Alioto. Namofsky out of the net to get it in his own end. He clears it off the boards for Tom Kondrich. Tomo up the left side on the run. Sprinting across midfield. And the ball knocked away by Barrett off the head of DiBernardo. Cleared out to midfield, and Tobin tried to get it into the boards and knocked it out of play. Fort Wayne will put it in play, touchline right at midfield, with exactly six minutes showing on the clock in the first period, and the Invaders lead three to nothing. Alan Bodenstein will put it in play for the Fort Wayne Flames. Out there along with Mike Noonan on defense, Lugris at midfield, Killingsworth and Fry the forwards. Paxos and Timo on defense for Canton. The two defenders combined on the last Invader goal. And it's the primo line up front. Celestin, Pikasinski, and Kramer. Odenstein off the boards, and the pass was short for Killingsworth. Pikasinski deflects to Tima and back to Rudy. Ahead, he wanted Magic, and Magic had gotten behind Bodenstein, but Bodenstein stepped in front and got the ball to Killingsworth. Killingsworth, right side, red line, to the left side of the floor, and his feet is knocked away by Tima. Ahead it comes to the Magic Man. Celestin with Kramer and Rudy. Magic winds, fires, post, no, Rudy, rebound. Or kicks it out into the corner. And Kramer had a shot at something there, but couldn't get the ball to him. Here comes Bodenstein through the midfield circle. Ahead for Lugris. Lugris with Celestin, a couple of former Columbus teammates. Bodenstein with a shot, and the Mosky covers up on the save against the post. Outlet right side midfield for Kramer. Kramer working on Noonan. Killingsworth, the double team. They back it up to Paxos. In the goal box, Namofsky right back outside to Mike Paxos. And again, Namofsky, he sends it straight ahead. It's over the head of Celestin, and it bounces into the Fort Wayne bench. And Fort Wayne will put it in play at midfield with 5.08 to play in quarter number one. And again, the Invaders leading 3 to nothing. Next home game, Wednesday night against the Louisville Thunder. That's a 7.35 kickoff time. Louisville will come here without Keith Tozer. And we will miss him, won't we? <laughs> well, some of us will. Alioto <laughs> sends it ahead for O'Keefe. And back to Alioto in the midfield circle. Right side to DiBernardo. DiBernardo being hounded by Maurer. And back in the circle again, DiBernardo. Now it's up on the left side. And Barrett had all kinds of trouble with that. Kramer and Pekosinski double team. And Barrett able to move inside Rudy and come away with it. Middle of the floor. Right side to DiBernardo. He had to wait on it a little. Sends it ahead. They want O'Keefe. O'Keefe posted up. Back to DiBernardo. He's fronted by Paxos. Right side to Ramsey. His shot scores! I think Namofsky was screened on the play. I don't think Billy ever saw that until it was in the net. And Fort Wayne on the board at the 10-24 mark of the period to cut the lead down to 3-1. to one. Ramsey with the goal, his second of the season. DiBernardo gets the assist. It's his seventh of the year. And the Invader lead has been cut to 3-1. to one. <laughs> Kia, Maurer, Tobin, Pisano, Condridge for Canton. Maurer with the ball in the Fort Wayne zone, working against Mike Noonan. And now it's Pisano ahead for Tobin. Tobin left side of the corner, trying to get inside of Lugris. And he taps it outside to Kia. Kia backs it out on the point. Kondrich, midfield area in the circle to Pisano. Right side down in the corner. Maurer trying to work on Noonan. Fry to double team. Maurer backs it up at midfield to Pisano. Oscar for Kia. Kia was getting held. And they call it the other way. They call Kia for the push off on Bodenstein. He was pushing away because he was being held. That's the third foul on the Invaders. Four on Fort Wayne. 4.08 to play in the period. Canton leads 3-1. to one. 
Otto Orff with the ball in the goal box. Outlet midfield off the chest of Killingsworth. And he has to dump it back. His pass is behind Noonan. Noonan chases it down in the, in the uh, attacking zone. Orff with a bad pass into the chest of Maurer. Almost got it to Kia. But Noonan able to tap it back into the waiting hands of Orff. That could have been disaster for Fort Wayne. Orff very nearly fed that right to a guy in front of an open net. At the other end, Namofsky controls in the goal box for Canton. Outlet right side for Kia. Kia on the run with Bodenstein. Bodenstein able to push away. Orff lost the ball. Bodenstein sits. Kia scores. Now they disallowed it. They call the push on Kia. I believe Bodenstein and Orff, the two Fort Wayne players, ran into each other. I don't think Kia had anything to do with that. The two Fort Wayne players collided with each other and they call a foul on Kia. I don't agree with that. They disallow the goal. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders. Bodenstein hasn't gotten up yet. He and Orff took a nasty spill over each other. And Bodenstein hobbles off. He doesn't look too bad. He should be back. Fort Wayne will put it in play. They got lucky. They dodged a bullet. 3.34 to go in the first quarter. Canton 3, Fort Wayne 1. Tommy Muller up in on D for the first time for Fort Wayne, replacing Bodenstein. Orff with the ball in the goal box, picks it up. Outlet to Muller up. Muller up against Maurer. Back in the goal box to Otto Orff. And he'll come out with it. Orff out across the red line. And he sends it into the Canton zone for Chance Fry. Fry taps it away from Kia and dishes back to Noonan. And now Muller up right side at midfield. Muller up ahead for Killingsworth against Condridge. Kia to double team. They back it up to Noonan. And again, Killingsworth. And Pisano got to the corner first. Kenny got it inside. Domofsky ball loose out front and Lugris scores. Billy didn't get to the loose ball. It bounced right to Lugris and he had the open net and Fort Wayne's cut it to 3-2. Time of the goal is um, 11.59. And the Invaders want a timeout to talk things over. We'll take a break. Canton 3, Fort Wayne 59. Killingsworth the assist. And the Invaders, who had once led by three, have now seen that cut to just a one-goal lead. It's 3-2. to two. And we'll see what they can do about it. Pikasinski, Kramer, and Celestin with Paxos and Tima for the Invaders. Magic in the midfield circle. Ahead to Kramer. Kramer. Ball knocked away by Alioto. DiBernardo clears ahead to O'Keefe. O'Keefe working against Paxos. Right side. Centering ball. Shot wide. O'Keefe with a follow wide to the left. And Magic able to control outside the box on the right side. Ahead for Kramer. Kramer on the break. He got around Orff. He got held by Orff. No call. And Alioto able to clear out in the corner. Kramer got inside. He wants Rudy. Ball knocked away, and Orff controls in the goal box. Kramer got flattened again, and no call. And the outlet comes to uh, Ramsey. Ramsey sends it forward for O'Keefe. O'Keefe in the left corner in the Canton defensive zone on Paxos. Turns, faces the net. Wants the shot. Now Mosky just got a hand on that and then pounces on the loose ball on the right side. Billy, outlet, left side midfield, Kramer, again behind a defender, but DiBernardo able to catch up, has already had to wait a little on the pass, backs it up at the red line to Celestin, Magic, left side of the floor, now in the middle to Kramer, Kramer, couple of steps forward, two, three, shoots, hit the post on the left side, he had Orff beat, Celestin got inside Ramsey, and now has to back it away to Tima, Tima wants Rudy inside, Rudy trying to get away, and there's a foul on Pekosinski for pushing, and that's the fifth one on the Invaders with a minute 39 as he got a piece of Barrett in the corner. Alioto to put it in play for Fort Wayne. Puts it in the air for Orff in the goal box. Orff, long lead for Lugris at midfield. And he sends it ahead for Fry. Fry right side in the corner against Tima back to the net. Timmy able to clear. And there's the fifth foul on Fort Wayne as Fry got a piece of Tima. So the next foul on either team and the remaining minute 27 would put somebody in the power play. Tima to put it in, in play into the goal box for Namofsky, who taps it right back out to Tima. 
Outlet left side midfield for Celestin and back in the invader zone for Namofsky. He's got to come out of the box to get that. A defensive pressure by Fry and Billy got a problem out there, but he's able to clear to Kia. Kia midfield got around Bodenstein. He's got three guys over there. Rudy in the corner to Maurer. Maurer centers Rudy with a shot. Good block by Noonan. Tima gets it back at midfield. A minute two in the period. Tima to Paxos centering ball for Rudy. Knocked away. Paxos trying to clear again. It's loose out front. And Kia fires into the cheap seats. 52 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Invaders three, Fort Wayne two. Goal kick for the Flames. On the goal by Lugris, they have taken the assist away from Killingsworth, and they give it to Chance Fry instead on the Lugris goal. So it's Lugris from DiBernardo at 11.59. Noonan drops it back in the goal box, and Otto Orff with it there. Orff picks it up and rolls it out on the right, on the left side to Lugris. Lugris ahead in the midfield area, and he wants Fry. Fry off the boards to Bodenstein, ridden away by Kondrich. Tomo tries to clear, and Amoski kicks it free, and we've got a whistle. And who's this foul going to be on? I believe it's on Fort Wayne, and if it is, that's the sixth. And the Invaders will go on the power play. Now they called it on Canton. It's a six foul on either team. All right, so Fort Wayne will get the power play. Time of the penalty, 14-28. And Fort Wayne, with a man advantage, would have a chance to tie after the Invaders had built a 3-0 lead. Fort Wayne power play on the year, 25%, 15 of 59. The Invader penalty killers, 22 goals allowed in 74 man down situations for a 70% rate of penalty killing. The fun bunch, Condrich, Frick, Kramer, and Tima in, and Bodenstein wrap that shot into the stage. So it'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. 31 seconds in the quarter and just a minute ticked off the penalty. So a minute 59 remaining in the Fort Wayne power play. Namofsky outside the goal box for Tima and back to Bill Namofsky. And he scoops it up, looks for the outlet for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside. Killingsworth does. And Kramer on the run into the Fort Wayne zone. Backs it up midfield. Tom Kondrich with it there. Kramer got hammered. That should have been the sixth foul. No call. And they clear it ahead. Frick trying to get inside Alioto. And the ball hit Kramer in the face and goes out of play with 12 seconds to go in the period. Minute 39 in the penalty. The Invaders lead 3-2. We're in quarter one. Lugris drops it back to Alioto. Eight seconds in the quarter. Alioto right side at midfield to Ramsey. Ramsey shot blocked by Frick. And Frick can't get away from O'Keefe. And that's the end of the quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders 3 and the Fort Wayne Flames 2. All right. 1480 WHBC AM, 625 airtime tomorrow night as the Invaders tangle with the Chicago Shockers from the UIC Pavilion in the Windy City. And we'll be there for that one for you. This is WHBC-FM, Canton, Ohio, 94.1. Glad to have you aboard tonight. Three more quarters of AISA soccer on the agenda tonight. The Invaders own a 3-2 lead at the end of the first 15 minutes. It was 3-0 after the first seven and a half, but Fort Wayne able to get a couple of goals and cut it back down. Frick Kramer, Tima, and Kondrich, the fun bunch penalty killers for Canton. Power play unit for Fort Wayne, Killingsworth, O'Keefe, DiBernardo, Alioto, and Ramsey. Frick to Kramer, and he taps it back to Tima, and Tima ahead to Frick. Frick got behind DiBernardo, but Ramsey is back there to help out. And Fricky tries to clear, but Killingsworth with a deflection. And now DiBernardo will drop it back for uh, Ramsey. Back to DiBernardo. Good defensive pressure by the power by the shorthanded team. Now Alioto across the line. Minute 10 in the penalty. Ramsey with a shot just wide. And Kramer clears ahead. DiBernardo has it at midfield. And one minute left in the penalty. DiBernardo right side to Ramsey. Bader zone, Ramsey shot, Kramer blocked that one into the corner. Ramsey got it back there, but Condridge clears it out to midfield, and that will bounce into the Invader bench. 
And we'll put it back in play for Fort Wayne. Touch line right with 14-19 to play in the second quarter and 47 seconds left in the Invader penalty, which is being served by Oscar Pisano. DiBernardo, midfield circle to Aliotto on the right side to Debo. The Indiana U product ahead to Killingsworth, who's posted up in front of the arc. Right side, Ramsey had trouble with that. Got it back to DiBernardo, now left side to Aliotto. Aliotto has to back it up outside the red line, and we've got 30 seconds in the penalty. Left side to O'Keefe, and again, Aliotto, and it went right between his legs and back up to DiBernardo at midfield. DiBernardo with a shot high off the glass, and Frick, oh, almost had a break, but it bounced away from him, and Ramsey has it. Now DiBernardo, and ahead to Ramsey again. 12 seconds in the penalty. Ramsey shot, hit the crossbar. Aliotto's follow, good save by Namoski, and he grabs the rebound. Long lead for Frick. Frick got behind the defender up the left side. Fricky wide speeds. He's got Kramer, and Orff just got the ball before Kramer arrived on the scene. The penalty is over. Here comes Pisano back on the floor. The Invaders have killed it off. And O'Keefe in a world of hurt down there. Ball knocked away and controlled by Kondrich, and he taps it in the goal box to Bill Namoski. Outlet Pisano, midfield circle. Pisano with Kramer clearing to his left and Tobin trailing. He winds, he fires wide. Kramer looking for the rebound, and he couldn't get position as Orff was sprawled out in front of the net. Kramer in the right corner outside to Pisano. Oscar on the point, now on the left side to Kia at midfield, and Kia backs it up to Tom Kondrich. Tomo forward for Kia. Kia working on Killingsworth, and back it up again at the Canton red line to Kondrich. Ahead it comes, it gets inside Tobin. Orff out of the net, tries to clear. Lugris missed the ball. Maurer got it back. He gets inside. One, one, round two, shot block. Kia with a follow. And he just got it saved by Orff. Centering pass for Maurer. Kia had it go right behind him. But you got a foul on the Invaders anyway in the box. Oh, 12.33 to play in the period. Some hot and furious action in front of the Fort Wayne net but it gathered no goals, and it's still only a one-goal lead for the Invaders at 3-2. We've got 12 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Otto Orff with the ball in the Fort Wayne net. Orff, outlet, midfield on the right side. He wants Lugris. It's off his chest. Maurer on defense. Back to Noonan for Fort Wayne, and ahead to Chance Fry. Fry, ball knocked away from behind by Kondrich. Lugris and Maurer fight for it, and now Tobin over to help out, but Lugris clears ahead. Bodenstein got around Kia, and it's ball's knocked away. Now Mosky able to get a piece of that. And they chase it in the corner. Chance Fry outside Lugris. Screen shot wide. And Oscar Pisano after the loose rebound. Oscar on the run with Killingsworth. Spin move. And Oscar taken down by Killingsworth. And that's the first foul on Fort Wayne in the period. The team fouls are even at one apiece. 11.55 to go in the first half. Don Tobin, middle of the floor at the Canton red line. And he sends it ahead at the Fort Wayne red line. Kia trying to get inside Bodenstein. They pin it up against the boards, and Kia got away. Middle of the floor to Kondrich. Kondrich and Kia cross. Kia moving right to left. Left side of the point, it comes to Don Tobin. Tobin down in the corner for Steve Maurer. Maurer working against Noonan. Back to the net. Outside to Tobin. Around the pick. Lugris back on D to help out, and the ball squirts in the goal box where Orff controls for Fort Wayne. Otto Orff will put it on the floor ahead to Noonan. Noonan with Maurer on D for Canton, and the ball deflected back in. Noonan chases it down through the goal box. Otto Orff with it there. 11-12 in the second period. We've had no scoring in this quarter so far. The Invaders lead by one. Orff lead ball for Bob Porcinitis. First time we've seen him, and Kondrich took it away from behind and taps it into Namofsky. Short outlet on the right side to Art Kramer, who leaves it for Oscar Pisano. And we've got a mixed line on the field right now. Now Magic Celestin in, and we'll get the rest of the Primo line in. Tima clears up the left side. Tima trying to get inside to Barrett, and he's knocked around in the boards, and that'll be a foul on Fort Wayne. And the second foul on the Flames in the period is the push, push, ball, uh, bleh, push call goes against Todd Barrett. Art Kramer to put it in play from the left corner. Invaders lead 3-2. Pekosinski has two goals. Paxos has one. Kramer outside Tima. He's got the open shot. He scores. He drills it into the left side of the net. Timmy Tima with a howitzer, and the Invaders lead 4-2. to And I mean, he got all of that one. Tim Tima, his third goal of the year. Kramer should get the assist. And the Invaders lead 4-2, to two. time of the goal, 4-16 of the second period. 
for Artie Kramer, his ninth assist. And the Invaders back up by two. Fort Wayne dumps it in the Invader, and Paxo sends it right back out. Tommy Muller up team and knocked it away. Celestin's got it for the Invaders. Magic at the Canton red line, and he sends it ahead for Kramer. Kramer right side feed to Tima. Tima, Fort Wayne red line, ahead for Artie. Kramer working against Muller up O'Keefe to double team, but he got it back on the right point for Tima. And the midfield area to the Magic Man. Celestin working on DiBernardo. And Celestin retreats to the right side at midfield. Sends it ahead for Pekosinski. Off Rudy's chest, headed away by Barrett. And DiBernardo with a push. Oh, they call obstruction on Magic. I don't agree with that. Team fouls even at two. O'Keefe posted up, spins back to get away from Rudy. Kramer over to help on deep. They pin it up against the boards. Tima knocks it away. It hits Kramer in the chest. Off the head of O'Keefe, and DiBernardo has it for Fort Wayne at the red line. Feeds it in. Tima with a deflection. Here we come on the break. Three on two if they hurry. Celestin with Kramer clearing. Tima the trailer. And Magic, he's got Tima on mark. Shot blocked by Orff. And Rudy couldn't quite get to the rebound, and Fort Wayne comes the other way on the counterattack. But they muffed the break as the pass was behind Barrett, and they had to wait on it. That gave the Invaders time to get back on defense. 9.32 to play in the first half. The Invaders lead 4-2. Todd Barrett, back edge of the midfield circle for Fort Wayne, out of the right side with it. And at the red line, it comes to Mark Lugris. Left side to Chance Fry. Fry, fresh over to Fort Wayne from Milwaukee. Dishes back to Noonan. Noonan in the goal box for Otto Orr. Orff clears. Tima heads it back. It's beyond magic, though, and Noonan will clear for Fort Wayne. Killingsworth left side at midfield to Noonan. Ball knocked away by Paxos. You got a break from Magic. Magic Celestin overran the ball, and if he sees Paxos, he's got him. He shoots. Good save by Orff with the right hand. Coming the other way is Chance Fry up the right side of the floor. Tima back on D. He feeds Lugris. Lugris had to wait on the pass. He shoots, and it's knocked away and pounced on by Bill Namoski. Acrobatic work in front of the Invader net by the Jackson High School product, Billy Namoski. 8.36 to play in the first half, and Mike Paxos has the ball for the Invaders. Leaves it for Don Tobin in the Invader defensive end. Fry and Killingsworth defending up at the red line, and Tobin clears it ahead for Pisano. Oscar trying to get away from Lugris, and they drop the ball back to Tobin again. Donnie Tobin clears ahead for Kia. Kia working on Bodenstein. Centering ball. Oh, back in by Pisano. No, followed by Meyer won't go. And we drop it back out to midfield. Pisano tried to hit that in with his heel, and he almost came up with a spectacular goal. Condrich, Maurer, wide, centering ball, loose. Condrich, good save by Orff. Still loose out front, knocked out in the corner on the right side. And Tobin will clear it out on the point for Condrich. Otto Orff must have went to church last week. He's had some luck. Kia with a shot wide to the right. And Noonan clears for Killingsworth. Killingsworth with Condrich. Kia deflects from behind. And Condrich gets it back. Now Tobin. And Tobin, ball knocked away by Lugris. They fight for it. There's a whistle. And this foul will go against Fort Wayne on the dangerous play. Their third of the period. Boy, Otto Orff has dodged a few bullets in this quarter. Don Tobin. Right side of the floor at the red line. Airborne in the corner for Maurer. Maurer taps it out off the boards for Pisano. His shot wide. The follow by Tobin. Oh, just wide to the right side. He had Orff beat, but couldn't quite find the corner. And here comes Lugris at midfield for Fort Wayne. Got around Kia, who made the slide move and missed. And on the right side at the red line to Killingsworth. Killingsworth, the former invader. Wall pass knocked away by Pisano. And Oscar will control in the corner. And they go down, and this foul will go against Ken Killingsworth on the trip. And that's four fouls on Fort Wayne, two on the Invaders. We've got 7.05 to go in the second quarter. Condridge taps it ahead. It's a little too far for Kramer, who had just come off the bench on the line change. And Ramsey's got the ball at midfield for Fort Wayne. And now this is Tommy Muller up on the right side of the floor, right in front of the Invader bench. Rudy picks him up. They dump it down. O'Keefe in the corner. O'Keefe just lost the ball. Tobin tries to clear. Rudy knocks it around. Muller up. Ball deflected by Ramsey. Ramsey's got it back on the point, and this foul will go against Pikasinski on the trip. And that's the third foul on the Invaders, and not a very popular one. 6.39 to play in the first half. Muller up with a shot blocked by Pikasinski, and that one sails into section 13. And we'll do it again. Touchline right side at the Invader red line. 
and they'll change lines. The Primo line comes in, or rather the rest of it, Paxos and Tima. Kramer, Celestin, and Pekazinski, the forward three. It's DiBernardo, O'Keefe, Barrett, Muller up, and uh, Ramsey for Fort Wayne. Ramsey from the right point, winds, fires through the box. Namofsky knocked it free. Paxos with a good play to get around O'Keefe and clear it. Here come the invaders on the attack. Paxos, he wants Rudy. The shot is blocked. And you've got uh, Tima trying to clear for Magic, but Ramsey stepped in front. 6.20 to play in the first half. The invaders lead 4-2. At the other end, it's O'Keefe in the corner against Tima. And he just lost the ball again. O'Keefe... Uh, a couple of plays now. It just looked like he, he really hasn't been pressured that much and just lost control of the ball. Rudy to Kramer to Rudy. Wall pass Kramer and hit the post and scores! Hit the inside. Kramer from Pekazinski. It's 5-2. to two. Art Kramer from Rudy Pekazinski. Artie's 21st goal of the year. And Pikazinski has assist number 21. Time of the goal, 9.01. All five goals by the Primo line. All five goals tonight by that line. Pikazinski, Celestin, Kramer, Tima, and Paxos. And the Invaders lead 5-2. The kickoff knocked away by... Celestin, look at the moves by Magic to clear it over Lugris. Off the head of Pikazinski, and Lugris got it back for Fort Wayne. And ahead to Bodenstein. Bodenstein pass blocked by Tima and taken by Magic. Celestin moves around Bodenstein. Porcinitis with a deflection from behind. Here comes Chance Fry the other way. Give and go to Porcinitis, but it wasn't a particularly good feed. And he had a worse pass to Lugris that Pikazinski took away. 5.24 to play in the first half. The Invaders have stretched that lead back out to three again now at 5-2. to two. The Magic Man, left side at midfield, picked up by Lugris. Ahead to Kramer, but the ball knocked away by Noonan. Celestin gets it back right in front of the Invader bench in the midfield stripe. Ahead to Rudy, who touches it back to Mike Paxos. Paxos at the Canton red line. Now ahead for Tima, and Timmy hit the scoreboard on the far side. Got under that just a wee bit. And it'll be a kick in for Fort Wayne. I don't know if they have any shielding in front of the bulbs on that. He just missed that score side to the left a little bit. And Fort Wayne will put it in play. Touchline right side at midfield. We've got 5.01 to play in the first half. And the Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Noonan with the ball at midfield for Fort Wayne. Right side to Lugris. Lugris backs it up to Bodenstein. Bodenstein in the midfield circle. His pass deflected in the air by Kia. Bodenstein heads it forward. Fry and Kondrich in a race in the right corner. Fry has it back to the net outside Bodenstein. Now Lugris, his shot blocked by Pisano. And the follow by Barrett is out of play. Over the glass and high. And the Invaders will have the goal kick with 4.38 showing on the second quarter clock. Bill Namofsky to put it in play. I think Namofsky and Swan are both sporting new goalkeeper shirts tonight. Billy with a maroon one and Jamie with a blue one, and they look sharp. Billy to Kondrich, back to Namofsky. He picks it up in the goal box. Long lead off the sideboards at midfield for Kia, and he is fouled by Barrett, and that's uh, five on Fort Wayne. One more would put the Invaders in the power play. They have not had a man advantage in the game. Fort Wayne has had one power play, and the Invaders were able to kill that one off. Tobin dumps it ahead for Maurer. Maurer in the corner, back to the net against Muller up. Centering ball, and it went behind the intended receiver, and coming the other way is O'Keefe. O'Keefe, red line, pushes it ahead for Barrett. Barrett shot, no. Rebound knocked free, and here come the Invaders in the counterattack. Kia had some trouble with a funny hop or two, but he's able to outmaneuver both DiBernardo and Barrett and get it back to Pisano and now here comes Kondrich forward for Maurer. Maurer posted up on the give and go feed Tomo right side has to chase it down in the corner backs it away against O'Keefe back to Maurer his pass is behind Kondrich but it's controlled by Don Tobin 
Tobin, midfield circle. On the left side feed, it comes to Steve Maurer. Maurer backs it up, and it's Pisano and now Tobin. Tobin ahead, midfield circle for Kondrich. And Tomo back to Pisano. 3.40 to play in the period. Ahead it comes for Tobin, but Orff knocks it away. Way up in the air at midfield, O'Keefe heads it back to DiBernardo. And Fort Wayne on the attack. DiBernardo over to uh, Barrett. And Barrett dishes back to Bob Ramsey. Ramsey airborne for DiBernardo. DiBernardo right side in the Canton zone. Ball knocked away by Pisano. Kia trying to get around Muller up. Couldn't do it, but Pisano has it anyway. Ahead to Kia. And Orff is out to knock that one free. And now Tobin. And Tobin clears ahead for Pisano. Pisano knocked it around Noonan, but Ramsey was there to clear. And DiBernardo ahead, and the ball for O'Keefe is knocked away by Kondrich. Tomo heads it off the boards and takes it up the right side. Midfield circle feed goes to Pisano. Oscar surveys the situation as the Flames are back on deep. Oscar ahead for Kia. Kia off his head against the right side boards of the corner now, trying to work on Muller up. Kia back to the net, and he'll come out front with it and back it up all the way inside the Invader red line to Bill Namofsky, 2.38 to go in the first half. Namofsky with a good move to get around DiBernardo. Ahead to Mike Paxos as they work on the line change now. Don Tobin sends it ahead, and he's got Maurer. Maurer working to the Fort Wayne end on O'Keefe. Gets inside one. He's fouled. That's the sixth foul, and the Invaders will go on the power play. DiBernardo on the holding call. Time of the penalty will be 12.37. And so the Invaders get their first man advantage situation as the sixth foul penalty is whistled against the Fort Wayne Flames. Invaders, 43% on the power play this year, 37 out of 85. The Fort Wayne penalty killers have been very good, 77%. They have given up only 17 goals in 72 man down situations. Walt Schlotthauer with that big knee brace on will come on to play the left point in the power play for Canton. Oscar Pisano, Don Tobin, Rudy Pikasinski, and Kia. The rest of the man-up team for Canton, it'll be Bodenstein, Alioto, Noonan, and Barrett, the shorthanded team for Fort Wayne. 2.23 to go in the quarter. And they feed it in the corner for Kia. Kia to Pisano, good save by Orff on the shot by Oscar. And Bodenstein had the ball knocked away from behind by Rudy. Tobin backs it up to Pisano, a minute 47 in the penalty. Pisano, left side to Don Tobin. Toby winds and fires, Orff with a good save, rebound shot wide by Rudy, and it comes out of the right point to Don Tobin. Tobin on the left side to Schlotthauer, Walter, one touch over to Toby. Minute 32 in the penalty, Toby winds, fires, Bodenstein got that one, and boy, did that take a funny hop. Bodenstein with a bicycle kick, and that'll be a dangerous play because it was very close to the face of Walt Schlotthauer. And with a minute 25 left in the penalty, a minute 49 in the period, the Invaders will go back on the attack. Fort Wayne in the diamond, D in the man down. Odenstein up front, Noonan in the back, and you've got uh, Barrett and Alioto, the two guys in the middle. Pisano with the ball right side, outside the red line, working against Barrett. Now edge of the midfield circle to Tobin, a minute 12 in the penalty. Tobin, right side to Pisano, now to Rudy, to Kia. He feeds, Schlotthauer just wide. Orff punched it free. Orff out of the net with the ball, and the ball knocked away from behind by Schlotthauer. Orff scrambles back, and Kia gets it back to Pisano. Orff is back in front of the goal now. 55 seconds in the penalty. Pisano, left side, Toby winds and fires, and Orff got up in the air to punch that one out of play. That'll be a corner kick for the Invaders. Minute 13 and a half and 50 seconds left to the man advantage. The corner kick will come from the spot on the right side, and Kia will be the trigger man. Pikasinski lined up on the right side of the box. Now cuts inside. It comes out of the point to Pisano. Oscar moves to the left, and it's to Tobin, and back to Oscar on the right point. Oscar through the box for uh, Schlotthauer in the left corner, back outside to Tobin. 37 seconds in the penalty. Pisano, Kia, Kia centers, and the ball hit B Barrett in the back. Kia able to tap it out to Pisano. 29 seconds in the penalty. Pisano for Rudy to Kia. He fires, and Orff just stepped in front of the ball intended for Schlotthauer, who was coming in on the left side and able to intercept. Long feed. Bodenstein goes down, and Pisano comes away with the ball. 12 seconds in the penalty. They got time for one more rush. Pisano. Left side in the corner for Schlotthauer. 
Walter being hassled by Alioto. Rudy over to help out. Walter off his head, wants to center. Again, Alioto, but Alioto holding. And the penalty ran out while that was going on. So Bodenstein comes out. They'll have a corner kick, but now it's even up. Five on five. Tobin to kick it in from the left side. Toby to Schlotthauer. Thunderfoot winds and fires, and Rudy's deflection went out of play. So 21 seconds left in the period, and we'll have a goal kick for Fort Wayne. The Invaders have a three-goal lead at 5-2. to two. Fort Wayne has not scored in this period. Canton led 3-0. Fort Wayne got two at the end of the first quarter to make it 3-2, and then the Invaders have got two to put it back up to a three-goal spread here in the second 15 minutes. Otto Orff will put the ball in play for the Fort Wayne Flames. Mike Noonan should be on the receiving end of this, and Kia will be over to see what kind of difficulty he can stir up. They tap it out to Noonan, back in the goal box for Orff. 19 seconds in the period. Orff still holding on in the box. Puts it on the floor. He's outside the box, and Orff sends it clear. It's intercepted by Rudy. Ball loose out front. There's no goalkeeper. And you got a two-minute penalty coming up because I think Orff got a hand on the ball. With eight seconds left in the period, Orff was outside the box and got the handball. So the Invaders will have time for one quick trigger on the power play, and if they don't get it, they'll have a minute 52 at the start of the third period. Time of this penalty, 14.52. Orff will get the handball call outside the box. And the Invaders will go back on the power play. They failed on their first man advantage. And they'll have eight seconds to try to trigger something in here. Set play time. Tobin will put the ball in play for the Invaders. Toby to Schlotthauer. He lets it go. It's headed up in the air. Orff punches that one out. Three seconds in the period. Pisano tries to center, and that's it. So the Invaders will have a power play to start the third quarter. And at halftime, our score, Canton 5 and Fort Wayne 2. Invaders wish uh, all their fans here and uh, those listening a happy Valentine's Day. Hope yours was as good as mine's been. Five to two is our score. It'll be the power play unit for Canton to start the third quarter. There's a minute 51 of man advantage left for the Invaders. Pikasinski, Kia, Schlotthauer, Tobin, and Pisano. Ali Odo, Barrett, Bodenstein, and Noonan, the penalty killers for Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne will control the kickoff to start the period. And they will uh, be trying to kill off the penalty. They'll be able to choose some clock off. Now, I'm not sure... Alioto having some conversation with the officials, I think about the time that penalty was called. Invaders 0 for 1 on the power play in the first half, and uh, Fort Wayne the same, the same thing. And we should be ready to go. The Invaders will attack from our right to our left here in the third quarter. Fort Wayne will put it in play. You're with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. 
Radio home for Invader Soccer. Bodenstein immediately the kickoff intercepted by Kiev. Back to Pisano to Tobin, and they set up with a man advantage. Minute 47 in the penalty as Tobin across the red line, right side to Pisano, back to Toby. And on the left point to Schlotthauer, again Tobin, and now right side on the point to Pisano. Pisano off the sideboards to Tobin. Tobin away from Bodenstein, gets it back over to Oscar. Down in the right corner for Kia. Minute and a half in the penalty. Kia back to Pisano, and again Kia. Kia tried to center, the ball was blocked by Noonan, but Kia got it back outside to Pisano. A minute 19 in the penalty. Kia looking inside, and now back out on the left side, it comes to Tobin. Toby down in the corner for Schlotthauer, back to Tobin. And again, Pisano, minute nine, Oscar shot, good save by Orff. Kia with a follow across the front of the goal mouth, and Schlotthauer dumps it outside again to Tobin. One minute left in the man advantage. Pisano, left side for Schlotthauer. Walter, ball deflected, he got it back, knocked away, outside to Pisano, 50 seconds. Walt, Oscar shot, and Orff just able to pounce on that rebound. And the long lead for Bodenstein up in the Canton end, and they'll try to dribble the ball and run some time. Bodenstein around the floor trying to get inside of Tobin. He shoots, and Namofsky covers up and holds on. 32 seconds in the penalty as Billy pushes the ball ahead to Oscar Pisano. Pisano, red line, right side feed to Kia. He'll let it go. Ball blocked by Noonan, and Tobin chases it down at midfield. 22 seconds in the penalty. Tobin, left side to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer. On the right point to Pisano, down in the corner to Kia. Kia to center, nobody marking Schlotthauer, but Bodenstein got in front of the pass and knocked it away, nine seconds in the penalty. Kia, right side, back out on the point to Pisano. Oscar had the ball deflected, but Tobin got it back. The penalty's over, though. As Fort Wayne back at equal strength, as Porcinitis comes out of the penalty box. And Schlotthauer dumps it over to Tobin, so the Invaders 0 for 2 in the man advantage. And now the line change comes on as the special teams get out. Namofsky has the ball in the goal lock for the Invaders. Outlet right side at the red line to Mike Paxos, and now Magic Celestin. Celestin working on Killingsworth, pushes the ball ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy working against Noonan. Center shot, and it's good save by Orff up against the left post. 12.37 to play in the third quarter. We're tied at 5-2, trying to make a winner out of our contestant, Gary Welling of Louisville, this quarter. Muller up, short outlet on the left side, right side, and Tima missed on the interception. Porcinitis comes ahead, drops it for De Bernard, uh, that's Lugris. Now Killingsworth posted up out front, feeds Noonan's shot, hit the post, and Pikasinski comes the other way, pushes it ahead for Kramer. Ball deflected by Muller up, knocked away again, and Killingsworth ends up with it. And coming the other way is Noonan. On the attack for Fort Wayne, Noonan drops it on the right side to Lugris. His shot is blocked by Tima. And it goes over the glass and out of play. Fort Wayne will kick it in. Touchline right side in the Invader defensive zone with 12.01 to play in what has been a scoreless third quarter so far. Invaders with a lead 5-2. That was the halftime score. And Lugris will put the ball in play for the Fort Wayne Flames. Lugris fires the wall pass. Killingsworth couldn't get it because Tima rode him away. And the Mosky controls in the goal box. Billy drops the ball on the floor. And sends it straight ahead for Kramer, who shovels it over on the right side to Paxos. Paxos trying to get away from Barrett. Barrett took the ball away, and he moves, he winds, he fires, hit the crossbar. The rebound comes all the way out to Celestin at midfield. Celestin with Pikasinski behind. He feeds Rudy. Rudy out front. He shoots blocked, and Lugris able to clear it out. Tima gets it back, bounces over a man. Lugris tried to clear to Magic. It was deflected. Killingsworth and Tima in a race at midfield. And Tima able to spin. Killingsworth clears around on the boards, and they get it to midfield to Magic Celestin. Invaders try to resume the attack. Tima pushes the ball ahead. The ball is knocked away by Barrett and controlled by Porcinitis for Fort Wayne. Now Lugris across the Invader red line on the left side. Killingsworth posted up. Turn speeds Muller up, and he knocked it out of play. And that will be a uh, goal kick for the Invaders with 11.05 to go in the third quarter. Canton 5, Fort Wayne 2. WHBC FM 94, Canton, Ohio. Sister station 1480 WHBC AM is the place to be for Invaders Soccer tomorrow from the UIC Pavilion in Chicago as the Invaders take on the Chicago Shockers. Special hi to Mike Namofsky, who's... Uh, 
busily at work uh, feeding all the hungry pizza lovers in Stark County tonight. Brother Billy is playing a good game in goal for the Invaders, and he's got the ball right now as he pushes it across the red line for Tobin and back to Namofsky with 10.47 to go in the third period. Namofsky, lead ball, headed away by Bodenstein, but Condridge has it at midfield for Canton. Shovels it over on the left side for Tobin, and back in the goal box it comes to Bill Namofsky. Straight ahead, midfield circle, Tobin leaves it for Kia. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer trying to move, and there's a whistle away, and you got a two-minute penalty coming up. And this will be, I believe, against Noonan. Maybe DiBernardo. DiBernardo's the guy walking toward the box. No, I was right the first time. Is it Noonan or Ramsey? Ramsey is the guy that's going to get the uh, two-minute penalty. So this will be the Invaders' third power play opportunity of the night. They have failed on the first two. Time of this penalty will be at the 4.30 mark of third quarter. Ramsey gets the two-minute holding call, and the Invaders back on the power play. Schlotthauer outside of Tobin. Toby at the red line. Now it's Pisano. Kia on the run in the corner, trying to work on Noonan. Backs it away. Off the boards to Pisano. Pisano, Kia. Kia through the box and over the glass and out of play. And it'll be a kick in for Fort Wayne with 10.13 to go in the third quarter and a minute 43 left in the Fort Wayne penalty. Still looking for that goal that would make Gary Welling of Louisville a winner in our United Bank contest quarter tonight. 5-2 is our score. Orff will put the ball in play and the goal kick for Fort Wayne. To Alioto, back to Orff. Picks it up in the box. Outlet is too far for Porcinitis at midfield. Schlotthauer flags it down in the invader zone. And the invaders will resume the attack with a minute and a half left in the penalty. Tobin across the red line. Pikasinski posted up. Back to Pisano. Pisano looking inside. Back to Rudy. And Rudy outside to Tobin. Again to Oscar. Right side in the corner to Kia. Schlotthauer is unmarked. And the pass is just a little bit high. And Bodenstein able to head it away from Walter. Minute 10 in the period, Tobin's got it back in the left point for Canton. Minute 10 in the penalty, rather. Pisano in the corner, left side, Schlotthauer out front. Rudy tries to feed. Pisano put it in the cheap seats. And that woke somebody up in the front row. Folks, watch the ball and keep your hands in front of your face. That hit somebody there, but I believe they're okay. 9.30 to play in the period, and in one minute exactly left in the penalty. Orff sends it long to midfield. Bodenstein heads it straight up in the air. That one's in the crowd. And the Invaders will put it back in play with 56 seconds left in the man advantage. Ken, 5, Fort Wayne 2, 9.26 to play in the third quarter. Namofsky will come out and put it in play from the red line. Ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin through the midfield circle. Left, right side in the corner to Kia. Back out front to Pisano, and now Tobin. And again, Oscar. Oscar working against Bowden, or that's uh, Barrett, rather. Schlotthauer off the boards, but Orff able to come out and grab a hold of that. 35 seconds of the penalty. Outlet midfield, and Pisano is going to get called for the push as he put Bodenstein down. And that'll be the first foul on either team in the third period with 9.02 to go. In the period, and 33 seconds left in the penalty, Fort Wayne, the shorthanded team, will put the ball in play from the midfield area. Rudy Pekosinski has scored twice for the Invaders, single goals by Paxos, Tima, and Kramer. Ramsey and Lugris have scored for Fort Wayne. All of that coming in the first half. 5-2 Invaders lead. They push it in for Bodenstein, but Pisano taps it away from him. And they'll have time for one more rush now. 25 seconds in the penalty as Oscar crosses the Canton red line. Over midfield into the Fort Wayne zone to Rudy. Posted up outside to Tobin. 18 seconds. Tobin fires no in the corner. Schlotthauer on the left side outside to Tobin. Pisano, 11 seconds in the penalty. Kia. And it's behind Tobin. He's got to chase it back to midfield. Five seconds in the penalty. 
And here comes Tobin. Three, two, one. Again, they've killed it off as Ramsey comes out of the box. And here is Timo on the point. Airborne for Kia in the corner. And he can't get it to Rudy. And Bodenstein clears it. Ramsey back to Alioto. So the Invaders 0 for 3 on the power play tonight. But they still lead the game by 3, 5 to 2. Killingsworth and Pikasinski fight for it. Kenny off the board. Schlothauer deflects it back to Namofsky. And Billy with the ball on the floor. Out by left side comes to Mike Paxos. Paxi across the midfield line in the circle to Celestin. Ahead to Paxos. Paxos, couple of steps inside against Noonan, and back out front it comes to Celestin. Now Rudy. Rudy working on Muller up. Off the wall, nobody home out front, and Orff able to scoop up the loose ball. 7.45 to go in the third quarter. Orff with a long lead. He wants Muller up up the left side of the floor. He corrals it at the Invader red line. Out front, O'Keefe on the break. He, he missed it wide, and then it goes in, but I think they're going to disallow it. Yes, sir. I think it hit him on the hand. So each team has had a goal disallowed. O'Keefe trying to say it hit him in the shoulder, but the ref says, uh-uh. You got that one with a big paw. And the Invaders will put it in play. Namofsky. Still in the box with it. Score still 5-2. 7.25 to go in the third quarter. Namofsky to Celestin and back to Billy. Ramsey with a defensive pressure. Ahead to Paxos. Paxos, right edge of the midfield circle. Back to Celestin. The magic man against Ramsey. Forward for Kramer. It hit Alioto, then Kramer, and ended up at the feet of O'Keefe. And O'Keefe with Tima and Magic back around one. And he can't get around Tima. Namofsky clears. And it's headed away by Muller up. It bounces off Ramsey and Magic. That'll be a foul on Ramsey on the dangerous play. And the second one on Fort Wayne, 6.57 to play in the quarter. And the Invaders will put it in play from their own side of the midfield stripe. Tima taps it back to Celestin. And the Magic Man, right edge of the midfield circle, around one, around two, ball taken away by Killingsworth. But his pass deflected by Celestin. Kramer feeds Paxos. He's being hounded by Alioto. Chases it back in the Invader end. And Alioto dumps him into the boards. The holding call goes against Alioto. And now you're going to get two minutes on Tima as Tima retaliated and put Alioto down. And Alioto comes up hobbling. And Tim Tima better watch it or he may get another two. Namofsky comes over to cool Timmy down and Fort Wayne will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 8-18. Fort Wayne, this is their second man advantage of the night. They failed on the first one. Invaders still lead 5-2. to two. Now, Tima is normally part of the penalty killing unit. And his place will be taken by Randy Pikasinski. So it'll be Randy Pikasinski with Kondrich, Frick, and Kramer to kill off this penalty. Fort Wayne on the power play. Their man up unit, Ramsey, O'Keefe, Alioto, Killingsworth, and DiBernardo. Mayor Purse is asked to pass along best wishes to his son, Sammy, who had chest surgery at Akron Children's Hospital listening to the game tonight. Best wishes to Sammy, and we hope to see you back here at the Civic Center soon, young man. Here comes uh, Alioto up the floor for Fort Wayne. Taken away from behind by Frick, and the trip call goes against Frick. 1.40 to go in the penalty, 6.22 in the period. Killingsworth, and he didn't put it in play from the right spot, so we'll do it again. Tima for unsportsmanlike conduct in the box. And they get outside. Ramsey shot, no. Rebound comes all the way out on the left point to Alioto. Frick out to hound him. And now it's DiBernardo. Minute 28 in the penalty. Centering ball. Namofsky pounces on it just before O'Keefe was coming on the scene. Long outlet midfield. DiBernardo will let it go for Orff. And Fort Wayne will come back the other way with a minute 16 in the penalty as DiBernardo crosses midfield. Now to the Canton red line. 
Picked up by Randy and Frick. Ramsey shot blocked by Randy, taken away by Frick. And now the Fun Bunch will do some work. Frick with three guys around him. Alioto picked it away, but Kondrich chases the loose ball away from O'Keefe. Here come the invaders. Kondrich up the right side. Shot blocked by Ramsey. And Randy working against Alioto, but Alioto able to clear it to Paul DiBernardo. 48 seconds in the penalty. DiBernardo left side of the point to Killingsworth. Kenny Killingsworth winds and fires loose. O'Keefe scores. Rebound came free. Namaski couldn't get to it, and O'Keefe put it in. So Fort Wayne scores in the power play and cuts it down to a 5-3 game. For Dan O'Keefe, it is his 21st goal of the season. The time of the goal is 9.38. And Killingsworth picks up the assist. And Kenny has 15 assists on the year now. And it's 5-3, to three, our score. 5.21 to play in the period as the Invaders dump the kickoff down on the Fort Wayne end. Bad pass by Orff, taken by Kia in the corner to Maurer. And Maurer back outside on the point to Pisano. Again, Maurer. Maurer looks out front for Kia. Kia shoots, and he hit the post on the left side. Lugris out after the rebound. He had Orff beat cleanly. Orff outside the box. Now oh, right between the legs of Tobin, and coming away with it is Mark Lugris. Lugris picked up by Pisano. Outlet to Porcinitis. Kia got in front of him, but Chance Fry has it. And his pass for Lugris is intercepted by Pisano. Pisano around Lugris, around the boards, but he knocked it in the invader bench. Nice catch by Jamie Swanner. And Fort Wayne will put it in play from the left side at midfield. 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Still looking for an invader goal for our contestant, Gary Welling of Louisville. Noonan sends it down for Porcinitis up against the left sideboards. Condridge with a deflection. Noonan gets it back in the left point. And a feed in blocked by Pisano. Lugris with a shot. That one was blocked by Condridge. And it's loose out front. The shot by Bodenstein was blocked by Maurer. And Kia's got it. Kia trying to get around uh, Noonan. And moves to the middle of the floor around the right side. Orff out to knock it away. But he knocked it right to Tobin. Tobin has to clear it back at midfield, though, for Oscar Pisano. 4-16 in the third quarter. Pisano, right side feed to Donnie Tobin, the long-haired lad from Liverpool, give and go to Pisano. Around Lugris in the corner, wall pass, it hit the top of the wall, wall where it goes around the boards and bounced out of play. So Fort Wayne will put it in play with 4.07 to go in the period. Well, the Invaders have had some chances but have not been able to put them away yet. Fort Wayne with the only goal of the period coming on the power play, O'Keefe from Killingsworth. And the Invaders hang on to a two-goal lead at 5-3. to three. Otto Orff to put the goal kick in play for Fort Wayne. And Orff with the ball in the goal box. He'll pick it up. Outlet. Knocked up in the air by Kramer. Ramsey heads it up in the air. And Muller up and Maurer collide. It goes out of play to Canton. Muller up. Touched it last. Team fouls. Two on the Invaders, three on the Flames. Not a big factor with only two, with only 3.53 to go in the period. Namaski in the goal box for Canton. Comes outside the arc. Stops out inside, now outside the red line. Right side to Tobin, back to Namaski. And again to Tobin at midfield, and again back to Billy. This time, Billy sends it forward for Maurer. Ball knocked away by Muller. Up stolen by Kondrich. He shoots. Good save by Orff on the point-blank shot by Tomo. And it's cleared around the boards, and Orff holds on in the goal box. Otto Orff looks right once, twice. Now puts it on the floor. Comes up with it himself and clears it down in the invader zone. And Namofsky will wait for that as it rolls in the box, and he holds on. Outlet short on the left side to Tobin. 3.08 to go in the quarter. Toby leaves it for Kramer. And now Kondrich. Right side midfield, ahead going down in the right corner is Tobin. Tobin spins back to the net, out front to Kramer. They want Pekosinski in the corner. Ball knocked away. Rudy to Kramer. Good save by Orff. Rebound Kramer wide to the left. And it's cleared out of there by Barrett. Barrett loose in the corner and dumps it back in the goal box for Otto Orff. Orff rolls it out on the left side to Tommy Muller up. Muller up. Right side for Lugris. Lugris, the Fort Wayne captain, ahead for O'Keefe. He dumps it back. And Muller up has to clear at midfield, and Noonan chases it back to the red line. 
Noonan on the right side of the floor. Bodenstein on the line change, and now he's got the ball back edge of the midfield circle. Through the middle of the floor to the Canton red line, picked up by Celestin. Bodenstein overran the ball, knocked away from behind by Paxos. Magic tries to clear. DiBernardo ahead to Lugris. Now Killingsworth posted up back to the net. Turns, faces the net. One of the left foot shot. It's wide. And Kramer tries to clear. He and Killingsworth collide. And which way is this one going to go to the Invaders? Four fouls on Fort Wayne. Paxos clears it out. Midfield ahead to Kramer. Lost the ball off his heel. And Killingsworth tries to clear. Bad pass off the wall. And that allowed Paxos to clear it back in the goal area for Bill Namofsky. 154 to go in the third quarter. We're still looking for an Invader goal for our contestant. Left side red line to Paxos. The ball is too high for Kia, but it's headed out of play by Bodenstein. Invaders will control at midfield on the right side, right in front of their own bench. 5-3 Canton, 147 to play in the third quarter. Tim Tima to trigger it in for Canton. Tima back to Bill Namofsky, who's all the way out at the back edge of the midfield circle. I head to Kia, Kia with Bodenstein, Rudy to double team. Rudy in the corner looking for the wall feet is knocked off the boards and Bodenstein will clear it out but the bad pass taken away by Celestin. The magic man spins around Killingsworth lost his balance gets back up and gets it away from Chance Fry. Now Tim Tima and now Magic on the right side. Minute 24 in the period. Magic on Lugris in the corner pass blocked by Lugris. Centering ball for Rudy knocked away by Noonan and he put it into section 12 in the seats and the invaders will kick it in from the right corner. 117 to go in the third quarter. Gary Welling of Louisville. You have 117 for the Invaders to get a goal, so we can give you the dinners and the tickets. You've got the United Bank coffee mug no matter what. Magic Celestin. Pass blocked by Lugris. Magic gets it back. Double teamed by Lugris and Fry got around both of them. In the corner, around three behind Rudy. Paxos hit the post. Rebound knocked away out front. 107 to go. Killingsworth with the ball at the red line. Oh, my heavens. Killingsworth, right side across midfield. Feeds it on the left side for Noonan. Noonan winds down in the corner. They want uh, Fry, but it's cleared out to Celestin. Celestin trying to get around Muller up, taken down by Muller up. That's the fifth foul on Fort Wayne. With 51 seconds left, one more foul would put the Invaders in the power play again. 49 as Magic crosses midfield, looking on Lugris. Magic ahead for Broody. Broody wants to give and go to Kia, and it's blocked out of play by Muller up with 42 seconds to go. And it'll be a corner kick for Canton. And they will change lines now. 42 seconds in the third quarter. Invaders lead 5-3. to three. Kia, Maurer, Tobin up front. Pax, uh, Pisano and Kondrich on D. It's Porcinitis, O'Keefe, DiBernardo, Barrett, and Muller up for Fort Wayne. Donnie Tobin, the trigger man from the right side. They've been deadly on these set plays over the years. Maurer's in the box. Key is to the left side. Pisano to Kondrich out front. To Maurer, hit him in the back of the leg and then went wide and Orff didn't know what was going on that time. Muller up, ball deflected. O'Keefe will try to clear. And it goes the length of the floor. Porcinitis with a shot blocked out of play by Kondrich. 28 seconds left in the quarter. Fort Wayne will put it in play in the invader end. Touch line left. And let's see who will be the trigger man. It looks like DiBernardo will put it in play for the Flames. Invaders by two, 5-3. DiBernardo launches it wide to the right in the corner. And Muller up, sends the rebound up in the air. Namoski goes up and hauls it down on the fly. Long lead for Maurer off his head in the Fort Wayne zone. And we got a problem and is knocked away. And DiBernardo controls 15 seconds. Muller up for Fort Wayne, 12 seconds. And ahead it comes in the Canton zone to O'Keefe. O'Keefe, right side pass blocked by Pisano. Five seconds in the period. Kia with a deflection. Kondrich clears, and that's the end of the third quarter. So we are sorry, Gary Welling of Louisville. We have no losers in this contest. You automatically won the coffee mug. But the Invaders did not score in the period, so unfortunately we are not able to give you the tickets or the dinner certificates. But you do have the coffee mug, and if you'd like to be a part of our next contest, send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to the Invaders to start the fourth period. Killingsworth, Lugris, Bodenstein, Fry, and Noonan for Fort Wayne. 
Canton will attack from our left to our right as we look at it from high atop the Civic Center. Twenty-five hundred forty-three on hand at the Civic Center tonight. Maurer to Kia dumps it back to Tobin, and on the left side at the red line for Condridge had it knocked away by Fry, and here comes Bodenstein ahead for Fry. It's too far for him, and Namowski scoops it up in the goal area. Billy long lead for Maurer. Maurer off his chest at the red line, and they dump it back to Tom Condridge at the Canton red line. Ahead for Maurer. Maurer and Orff collide. Orff was out of the box. And you're going to get an obstruction on Orff. If he's in the box, that foul probably goes against Maurer. But he was out of the box. And that's the first foul on Fort Wayne of the period. Tobin to put it in play. Condridge whitens and fires. And that one's in the stage. And it's a goal kick for Fort Wayne. Invaders lead 5-3. The only goal of this half so far, so far, the power play goal by Fort Wayne in the third quarter. The Invaders led 5-2 at halftime. Orff to put the ball in play for the Flames. Dumps it over to Noonan. And Noonan back in the goal box for Otto Orff. Orff picks it up. Outlet right side midfield. Lugris heads it back and Bodenstein has it at the Fort Wayne red line. Bodenstein moving left to right across the floor. Bad pass taken away by Maurer. Here come the Invaders in the counter. Maurer through the middle. Shot deflected wide to the right. Tobin after the loose ball. And he gets it out front to Maurer. Maurer trying to maneuver inside in the corner. And now we'll back it up out front on the point. Right side to Condridge. Midfield circle to Oscar Fasano. And down in the corner for Donnie Tobin. Tobin on the right side against Lugris. Out front it comes to Condridge. Tomo moving to his left across the field. Down in the corner wants Maurer. Maurer wall pass out front. Nobody home except Fry for Fort Wayne. Now Killingsworth. Killingsworth sends it ahead. It's too far for Fry. And Condrich spins inside and comes the other way. Three on two if they hurry. Kia catches, takes the deflected pass. He had Luger speed if the pass wasn't deflected. And ahead it comes, knocked away by Bodenstein. Condrich and Bodenstein on the run. Tomo wins that race and steers it in the goal box for Billy Namofsky. Thirteen and a half minutes left in the game. Kia, left edge of the midfield circle around O'Keefe. And Kia moves like a little water bug out there, drops it back to Pisano. Pisano takes it down the right side, heels it back for Kia. Kia comes out front with it, looks inside. The shot was blocked by Noonan. Kia gets it back, takes it out to midfield, backs it up to the Canton red line to Tobin. Ahead for Maurer. Maurer leaves it in the midfield circle for Pisano. Oscar working against O'Keefe, steers it long for Tobin in the right corner, and Toby lost the ball out of play as he got under it a little bit. And Fort Wayne will put it back in play with 12.58 to go in the game. Invaders lead by two, five to three. No team fouls on Canton in the period so far. Fort Wayne has one. Primo line on the floor for the Invaders. They've scored all five goals so far tonight. Pikasinski, Kramer, Tima, Celestin, and Paxos. And Orff with the ball in the goal box for Fort Wayne. Now they put it on the floor and come out. Outlet to Barrett. Barrett shovels it ahead to Muller. Up Muller. Up ball deflected by Celestin, but O'Keefe chases it down in the corner. Outside to Di Bernardo. Di Bernardo wants O'Keefe. He turns. He shoots. He scores. Beat Namofsky into the left corner of the net, and Fort Wayne has cut the lead down to one goal at five to four. And we got a lot of time left. Time of that goal, 2.24 in the period. Ramsey the goal, Di Bernardo the assist. For Ramsey, his uh, second goal of the night and third of the year. So he's doubled his goal production in one game. And there's a foul on the kickoff on Fort Wayne, their second of the period. So Fort Wayne has been down by three twice, and twice they've cut it back to one. They've never led. The only time we were tied was at 0-0. Kramer working against Muller up in the Fort Wayne end, back out to midfield to Celestin. He got inside of Ramsey. Magic spin move as Ramsey able to get back on deep. And Magic moves to the middle. Taken down by Ramsey, no call, and the pass almost took the referee's head off. And Tima dumps it back in the goal box for Namofsky. 
Nemoski back to Tima, and there's a hold on O'Keefe. And that will be the third foul on Fort Wayne. And we've played less than three minutes of the period, so the Flames digging themselves a bit of a hole as far as foul trouble goes. No fouls on the Invaders yet in this period. Long lead, you've got Kramer. Kramer working on Muller up. Muller up, able to get inside position and comes away with the ball. His pass is knocked away by Celestin. Lugris knocked away again by Celestin. But Barrett able to clear to O'Keefe. O'Keefe working in the Fort Wayne end against Tima, or rather in the Canton end. O'Keefe turns. Tima got a good block on that. And Pikasinski steers it in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Namofsky, ball on the floor, rolls it ahead to Tim Tima just outside the goal box. Midfield for Art Kramer. Kramer has to back up. And Tima's got it in the Invader defensive zone. 11.35 left in the game. Pass at midfield, knocked away by Fry. They send it ahead for Lugris. Tima will win the race in the corner. Bounces it off the boards. Fry got it back. We got a problem out front. Fry looking for the feed. Paxos with a good block to knock it into the chest of Namofsky. There were three on one out there, and Paxos did his job well. Here comes Celeste in around one. Ball deflected. Magic got it back. Looks inside. Shot wide, and, o and Orff comes up with a rebound. Outlet left side midfield for Killingsworth. Killingsworth across the red line. He wants the shot, and he takes it in a kick save and a beauty by Namoski. Lugris rebound to O'Keefe. Shot wide, and Namoski pounces on the loose ball. Billy, long lead. Bodenstein stepped in front of Pikasinski, but Rudy got around Lugris and takes it away. And back it up to Magic Celestin. Celestin. With some nifty dribbling at midfield. Ahead for Kia. Kia right side. Working against Noonan. Kia facing the net. Taking it in the corner. Now backs away. And midfield it comes to Condridge. 10-28 in the game. Invaders by one. 5-4. Don Tobin. Left side ahead to Pisano. Pisano working on Lugris. And Oscar spins. Looking for Pikasinski. Can't get him. He takes a shot. It hit Kia in the shoulder. And Kia dumps it back at midfield to... Condrich and again Oscar Pisano at the Fort Wayne red line between a couple of players ball deflected Noonan dumps it against the boards but Tobin gets it back for Canton back at midfield to Condrich 10 minutes left in the game Condrich in front of the midfield circle inside the red line he shoots it's blocked rebound comes outside Tomo and Fry in a race and Tomo got just enough of that to get it to Kia Kia looks right side for Pisano Oscar's gonna let it go wall pass through the box Nobody home, and Killingsworth controls for Fort Wayne, but he got the ball too far in front of him. Condrich knocked it back. DiBernardo controls for the Flames and gets it into Otto Orr. Otto Orr, five on the left side, comes to Noonan. Noonan ahead for Killingsworth. Killingsworth, Canton red line, left side. He feeds. They want the give and go, but Namoski is there to pounce on the ball as Pisano had Killingsworth shielded away from the pass. Tobin, red line, and Pisano. Ahead, and he got Maurer. He may have the break, but he lost the ball in front. Maurer looking inside, and the ball knocked away. Tobin got it back. Wall pass loose. Maurer had it deflected on a good defensive play by Barrett. To knock that out, it'll be a corner kick from the right side. If Otto Orff didn't say thank you to Todd Barrett on that play, he should have. Tobin to put it in play from the right corner with 9.07 to play in the game, and the Invaders nursing a one-goal lead, 5-4. Don Tobin waiting for the referee to give him uh, the okay to get play started. Toby through the box. Maurer header blocked by Muller up. Maurer gets it up in the air again, and they want to clear it outside, and he does to Condridge. Tomo on the right side to Pisano. Oscar to Tobin. Tobin knocked it out of play. Goal kick Fort Wayne, 8.55 to go in the game. Invaders lead 5-4. to four. And Otto Orff will put it in play for the Fort Wayne Flames. To Barrett, back to Orff. And Orff picks it up. And now puts it back on the floor, and he'll come out. And he sends the long ball for DiBernardo off the sideboards. DiBernardo and Tobin, key of the double team. Kia got around one. He got around Muller up. And Muller up and DiBernardo ride him away, and the ball goes in the goal box for Otto Orff again. Rolls it straight ahead to Paul DiBernardo. Eight and a half minutes left to play. Tommy Muller up, pass blocked by Tobin. Kia in a race with DiBernardo. DiBernardo airborne, it goes in the box for Otto Orff. Otto Orff leaves it on the floor. Now picks it up. Directing traffic ahead. Maurer stepped in front of the pass for Barrett. 
Maurer up the left side. He winds, he fires, hit the post. Tobin rebound. Oh, what a play by Orff. Orff was going the wrong way and able to come down and catch it behind him. And here comes Kia the other way for Canton. Off the header by Condrich. Now Tobin. And the ball knocked away by Lugris. Muller up, drops it back. And Lugris leaves it for Muller up in the Fort Wayne defensive end. 7.47 left in the game. Tommy Muller up, left side, outside the red line. Long ball in the corner. Maurer tries to hit it, but Killingsworth got a piece of that. Maurer with a deflection, and the invaders come the other way. And now Maurer will back it up for uh, Condrich ahead to Fasano. Fasano working against Alan Bodenstein. Double teamed. Oscar got around Porcinitis, but Bodenstein able to slide along with him. Oscar still dribbling in the midfield circle. Now pushes it on the right side to Celestin. Celestin. Down the right side, out front, ball blocked out front, and coming the other way is Lugris for Fort Wayne. Lugris pushes it ahead. It's too far for Porcinitis, and Kramer controls for the invaders and dumps it back for Namoski and taps it ahead to Tim Tima. 7.05 to play. Celeste in middle of the floor at the Canton red line against Bob Ramsey. Drop it back to Tim Tima. Tima sends it forward for Rudy. One touch over to Paxos. And Mike across the red line, down in the corner. Wines fires, wall pass. Rudy scores! Trick for Pikasinski. And Paxos will get the assist. So the invaders stretch it to two again at six to four. Pikasinski now has 41 goals on the year. And the time of that goal is 8-11. And here come the hats on the floor. The fan club sells a few of those. And the players toss a couple of them back, and Tima will have to toss one a second time as he hit the glass with it. Swanner kept three of the hats on the bench. Okay. Jamie will probably be wearing those on the bus to Chicago. 6.49 to play in the game. The Invaders now by two. Six to four. Killingsworth off the boards for Ramsey. And back in midfield, this is uh, Bodenstein. Ramsey didn't get to the corner in time. Tima able to clear it ahead for Pikasinski ahead to Celestin. Celestin's got Kramer clearing to his right and Rudy trailing to his left. Magic ahead and the pass for Kramer was knocked away and controlled by Mike Noonan. 6.26 left in the game, Invaders by two. Bodenstein, right point in the Canton defensive end. Sliding play by Magic, Bodenstein takes him to the corner. They slide and Bodenstein's gonna get two for tearing Magic down. I think they got both of them. No, he's pointing to Magic for the injury. Did they get, did they get penalties on both teams? Magic may have been called for the trip. And he got an elbow in the face. Or did he get kicked in the face? Celestin's still down. They're going to call two minutes on both teams. Time of the twin penalties will be 8.43. Celestin gets two. Bodenstein gets two. So we'll play four on four for two minutes. It'll be Pisano, Tima, Condrich, and Frick for Canton. Celestin gets two minutes for boarding. Bodenstein gets two for unsportsmanlike conduct. It'll be Alioto, Lugris, O'Keefe, and uh, Fry for Fort Wayne. Well, the Invaders have got to put a man in the penalty box. Celestin, with the injury, apparently will not serve that, and Tima will go in and serve the penalty. And now Kia comes on the floor, so it'll be Kia, Frick, 
Uh, Pisano and Kondrich for the Invaders. Twin penalties, two minutes on each team. And Fort Wayne will put the ball in play from the right side. Alioto, the player coach, to trigger it in. Alioto launches it, and Fry put it out of play. But they say it was deflect. No, they don't. It'll be a goal kick for Canton. And some guy missed putting it on the field and gets booed by the other 2,542 people in the seats. Kondrich dumps it back in the goal box for Namoski. And Namoski clears for Frick at midfield. Frick working against Alioto. Fricky will back it up into the goal box for Namoski. Fry is on him, but Namoski maneuvers around. Pisano dumps it right side at the red line to Kondrich. A minute 39 in the twin penalties. Frick trying to work on Alioto, and they back it up to Kondrich. 5.50 left in the game. Kondrich clears ahead for Kia. Kia and Lugris in a race, and Lugris wins that and dumps it into Otto Orff. Orff long lead for Alioto at midfield, ahead for Chance Fry. Fry, the pass hit O'Keefe, the follow by Lugris is handled easily by Namoski. Minute 14 in the penalties, 5.31 in the game. Namoski ahead for Kondrich. Tomo right side at the Canton red line against Fry. Back to Pisano, who's working on O'Keefe. And now it is Namoski. Over the head of Fry, and Kondrich comes up the left side of the field. Tomo crosses midfield, crosses the red line. Frick lets it go. They try to center, and O'Keefe able to steer it into Orp. Orp shovels it ahead for Lugris. 5.06 in the game, 48 in the two penalties. Lugris, left side at the Canton red line, backs it up to uh, Mike Noonan. Noonan at the red line for the goalkeeper, Orp. And Orff sends it long, and Kondrich will win the race in the corner. Spins away from O'Keefe and pushes it on the right side for Pisano. 25 seconds in the penalties, 4.41 in the game. Namofsky with the ball in the goal box. Ahead it comes to Pisano. Pisano and his pass knocked away by Alioto, but Paxos off the bench to get inside of, of uh, O'Keefe. Orff knocked it free, and DiBernardo comes up for Fort Wayne. Midfield to Ramsey. Ramsey, five seconds in the two penalties, and now this is uh, O'Keefe who will drop it for Noonan, then O'Keefe steps in the box. The two penalties are over, and Killingsworth has it at midfield for Fort Wayne. Right side for Lugris, 4.07 left in the game. The Invaders lead 6-4. to four. And now this is Ramsey. Ramsey with a shot blocked by Pisano. That one's out of play. 6-4 Canton, Fort Wayne to put it in play from the red line, touch line right side in the Invader defensive end. And it'll be the Primo line. Team of Paxos, Celestin, Pikasinski, and Kramer. Magic's the only one of that fivesome that hasn't scored a goal tonight, and he has a pair of assists. Ramsey out front. Di Bernardo posted up. They dump it back to Muller up. Muller up to Di Bernardo, and now Muller up on the right side, picked up by Rudy, down in the corner for Killingsworth. Back outside to Muller up, and the ball in the corner is too far, and Kramer knocks it ahead. They want Paxos, and Di Bernardo and Paxos collide. Paxos called for the dangerous play, and that is the first foul on the Invaders in the period. Three on Fort Wayne. We've got 3.40 left to go. Canton six, Fort Wayne four, 340 left in the game. Di Bernardo to put it in play for the Flames. Di Bernardo to Killingsworth, and the ball intercepted by Paxos, and Namoski controls, and he is hammered. And then Tima retaliated, and Tima's going to get two, but they better give they better give Barrett two too, because he took a cheap shot at Namoski. I don't know if they called anything on Barrett. Barrett hammered Namoski in the boards, and Billy's in a little bit of pain. Tima retaliates, gets the yellow card. If they don't put Barrett in the box, something's radically wrong here. If they do not put Barrett in the box, and I don't believe they're going to, they've made a major mistake. 
Tima goes out. The time of the penalty is 11.25. And they don't call anything on Barrett. Incredible. Four fouls on Fort Wayne. How you cannot give two minutes to Barrett on that play, I do not understand. They gave him a team foul. But that was a cheap shot. Fort Wayne in the power play. They're third of the night. They're one for two. Trick on the ball on the shorthanded shot, and he just missed it wide to the left. And Fort Wayne will come back the other way. Minute 45 in the penalty, 3.20 in the game. Invaders by two. Alioto left side at midfield. Alioto trying to get inside. Frick picked up by Kramer. Alioto feed shot just wide. Namofsky got a piece of that by O'Keefe. Wall pass handled by Billy. Namofsky looking to clear. Minute 28 in the penalty as he sends it ahead for Frick. DiBernardo knocks it away from him. Killingsworth and Kramer fight for it, and Condrich clears it. And Alioto chases it down at the Fort Wayne red line. Minute 17 in the penalty, 2.51 on the game clock. Invaders lead by two. Here is DiBernardo. Right side, Ramsey across the floor on the left point for Alioto in the corner for Killingsworth. Killingsworth across the box, and it's deflected out of play by Frick. That'll be a corner kick for Fort Wayne with 2.37 left in the game and a minute two left in the penalty on Tima. Alioto will put it in play from the left side. And he almost put it into his own bench, and I think he did put it into his own bench. Yes, he did. I think they wanted to clear it back and get the timeout and pull Orff, but Alioto made a horrible pass, and the Invaders will control right side at midfield. I'm sure that's what he wanted to do. They wanted to get it back to Orff and call timeout and go for the sixth attacker. Now the Invaders will be able to choose some more time. 59 in the penalty, 234 in the game. They dump it in the Fort Wayne end, and Alioto able to come out with it. Ahead to O'Keefe. O'Keefe and Condridge fight for it on the, at the red line. Back up to midfield. It's a little behind uh, Di Bernardo, and he's got to clear it back to Orff. Now they call timeout with 219 left. And we'll go to the sixth attacker. 219 left in the game, 44 in the penalty. Back after this. Expect to go to the sixth attacker, although uh, nobody has yet put on a goalkeeper's shirt in the Fort Wayne bench. 2.19 left in the game, 44 seconds left in the Canton penalty. Tom Alioto talking to his troops. And Alioto, the coach, will put the goalkeeper shirt on and come on as the sixth attacker. The other players on the field will be Killingsworth, O'Keefe, Ramsey, DiBernardo, and Lugris. Pisano, Condrich, Kramer, and Frick in to kill the penalty for the Invaders. So in effect, they'll have a two-man advantage with a sixth attacker and 44 seconds of the penalty left. And the Invaders lead by two, six to four, and 219 showing on the game clock. Invaders will be with Lynn McDowell on viewpoint. Is it Tuesday night, Lynn? Tuesday night, some of the invaders. So uh, we invite you to tune in for that on 1480 WHBC AM. DiBernardo across the floor. Up to Ramsey. Winds, fires, hit the crossbar. Alioto's got it back in the corner to Lugris. Shot blocked by Pisano. And Pisano has it back for Canton. Around one, around two. Ball knocked back by DiBernardo. And here comes Ramsey. 22 in the penalty. Pisano tries to get around, shot O'Keefe, put it up over the glass and out of play. 152 in the game and 17 seconds in the penalty. And it'll be a goal kick for Canton. Alioto backs up in his own end as he's got to mind the goal now for a spell. Namofsky taps it out to uh, Kondrich and he dumps it back into Namofsky. 12 seconds in the penalty now. And Billy with a long lead for Frick. And Frick got inside the man. And uh, there's no goalkeeper. Fricky fires. And it's blocked. And then DiBernardo knocked it away. Lugris alertly getting back to cover the net. The penalty is over. 
Team is back out on the floor. Frick knocks it free down in the corner. And it's intercepted by Kramer. He scores! Put this one in the books. Win number 21 for the Invaders. 7 to 4 with a minute 25 to go. Time of the Kramer goal, 13-35, his second of the night. And the Invaders lead by three. Steve Frick picks up the assist, and the Invaders lead 7-4. Fort Wayne still with a sixth attacker. Alioto, who just got burned. Di Bernardo shot blocked by Pikasinski. Lugris picked up by Kramer. And uh, the ball sent in the corner. Centering pass, and Lugris very nearly put that one over everything. <laughs> Offensive star of the game, Rudy Pikasinski. Defensive star of the game, Oscar Pisano. <laughs> A minute eight left to go. And we'll be in Chicago tomorrow night. Seven to four is our score here. The Invaders leading. And Namoski has the ball in the goal box. Namoski, long lead for Steve Frick, working against uh, Di Bernardo. He got around him to the right side. Alioto back in the net. Frick fires Alioto with a save. 54 seconds left in the game. Lugris ahead for Killingsworth. Killingsworth, and the ball intercepted by Pikasinski. Rudy leaves it for Tima. Tima ahead for Frick. Here we go again. Frick fires, and Alioto dumps it out of play with 42 seconds left. And Fort Wayne looks like a very frustrated soccer team right now. Invaders will kick it in. And right now, Canton doesn't look like a team that's content to settle with a 7-4 win. I think they'd like to punch one more in here if they could. Kia. From the right side, over to Condridge. Tomo winds and fires. Kramer with a deflection, but it was wide. And Di Bernardo steers in the goal box. Alioto, long lead. And Alioto dropped the ball and then threw it. He couldn't do that again. Frick will put it in play. 35 seconds. Steve Frick to Kramer. He winds, he fires. It's wide to the right side. And the rebound chased down. Frick and Lugers fight for it. Condridge to help out. And it's cleared out, and the foul goes against the Invaders. They're second. And here comes Alioto ahead for Fort Wayne. Just 24 seconds left to go. The Invaders will go to 21 and 6. There's a shot blocked by Condrich. Fort Wayne will fall to 9 and 19. Ramsey lets it go. Namoski punches it free. And Tima clears. And here comes Frick with Alioto again. Alioto able to head it away, but Kramer got it back. And now Alioto's got some problems back there as he's marked by Frick. But he gets it ahead to Di Bernardo. Two seconds, one, it's over. The Invaders win it 7-4. And they go to 21-6 on the season. And Fort Wayne drops to 9-19. We'll be back to wrap it up in a minute.